YouTube, my name is Nintendo, and welcome to this uh, tele tap and help, huh? tap and balance update version 3.15. With me, in this voice in my head, is Expert Hunter. How are you, my man? I hope you all went well. What's up, everyone? <laughs> I'm doing well. All right, Thanks we for having me. No worries, man. Like we finished up the uh, tournament today, which was a good couple hours ago. I've been up since six o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> tournament ran for five hours um i'm kind of exhausted <laughs> but this uh, balance update just came out so uh, everyone's going over it so we're gonna go over this right now uh and then we'll give our thoughts so uh the following balance adjustments will be made in version 3.15 update uh thank you for continued enjoyment of playing teppan committed to encouraging a wide variety of useful decks and strategies to create combining hero arts and cards we have gone through with some plan updates for this purpose after taking into consideration the usage of uh, rates of hero arts and their effects on battles we have decided to adjust some hero arts and card abilities uh please see the following for each balance adjustment so disloyal follower is the only card that actually got adjusted in this balance update rocket launcher ultimate weapon kikosho and great divine intervention we basically got wait, three wait, 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 wait. isn't disloyal follower um the four seekers card a card that was yeah. never played? Yeah, it was it, never it played. Garbage, <laughs> garbage legendary? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it finally got an update. I, I don't know why now. Like, you know, Four Seekers is getting rotated out literally off the next month, so... I mean, hey. I guess you could still use it in uh, Unlimited, right? Yeah, in Unlimited, I guess. And I guess one more run for the heck of it in next month. But yeah, so these are the updates. Uh, let's go over this and see what we got. So, Disloyal Follower. So, originally, this is an MP cost of 3. You deal damage to an enemy unit uh, equal to triple the number of times friendly units have had the ascended status during battle. If that enemy unit dies, place it in your ex pocket instead of the graveyard. This effect takes predecessor precedence over death and revenge effects that return cards back to the deck or x pocket okay so the new effect is after it's two mp now no longer three deal one damage deal damage to one enemy unit equal to three times the number of times friendly units have had the ascended status this battle any unit destroyed by this damage is added to your x pocket instead of going to the graveyard this will not trigger death abilities Can we read that again yeah, I know. I got confused the first time I read it. So, okay. So it deals da So originally it dealt damage to an enemy unit equal to triple the number of times friendly units had the ascended status during a battle. If the unit died, you place it in your ex pocket instead of the graveyard. So now, uh, you deal damage to one enemy unit equal to three times the number of times friendly units have had the ascended status this battle. I feel like I'm confused just reading that sentence, to be truthfully honest. I mean, is is that kind of a nerf? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying to stand I mean, it. It's a buff, but at the same time, it's a nerf. Yeah, it, it feels because, like um, be, be, Because before, you would do three times depending on the amount of ascension, right? And right. then you would get that unit into your EX pocket, but now they took that last part out. Yeah, so I mean, I'm still trying to understand this. So, it, so, so it, it deals damage based on how many times you've ascended. Uh, how many number of friendly r units have had the ascended status battle? Yeah, so how many ascensions you do? Ah, uh, but it doesn't return that unit to your ex pocket, right? Uh, any unit destroyed by this damage is added to your ex pocket instead of going to the graveyard. That, if that effect is still the same. So what changed? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to understand. I mean, this will not trigger death abilities. Um, the MP cost, I think. <clears throat> wait, what, what, what's the MP cost? MP oh, it went from three. Yeah. Wait, so that was it? <laughs> I think so. If people, if, we, if people in comments just correct us or oh, uh, something like that. But I mean, I'm reading this. And honestly, I feel like nothing changed. Just the MP cost. But... I think the first effect is exactly the same, just rephrased. Slightly more confusing. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's go over it one more time. Okay, okay. So originally, you deal damage to an enemy unit equal to triple the number of times 
friendly units have had the ascended status during battle. If that enemy unit dies, you put it in your X pocket instead of the graveyard. Fine. So the redo, the new version is you deal damage to one enemy unit uh, equal to three times the number of times units have had the ascended status this battle. I also felt like that's exactly the same thing. Yeah, they, they just changed the wording. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly the same. They just reduced the MP costs. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This will not trigger death abilities. Um, so if you do pop a unit, you don't trigger its death ability. Uh, which I think is the change, because originally this effect takes precedence over death and revenge. So honestly, I felt like originally it would still trigger death abilities. Now it doesn't. I think that's the change. No, 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 because it takes precedent. It takes precedent, so that means it would it would resolve before the death effect. Oh, okay. So, so it's so exactly the it, yeah. It's exactly the same. They just changed the wording so people wouldn't be as confused. I felt more confused, but whatever. <laughs> 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 I felt more confused. All right. So literally just a one MP decrease. Okay, fine. Just loyal follower. Thank you for your time. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. They made it. Oh, dude. That was. That's confusing. Right. I don't know. All right. Moving on. All right. The card is done. Moving on. Rocket launcher. Okay. MP3. MP cost of three. Deal 10 pierce damage to a random enemy unit. Now... It's an MP cost of 3 still, but it deals 8 pierce damage to one enemy unit, then it deals 4 damage to an adjacent unit. That is a massive buff to that um, action. That's a buff, but at the same time... Um, it, ha it has it's, to deal the damage, right? It's uh, deal 8 pierce damage to one enemy unit, then deal 4. So even if they have a shield, and you pop the shield... No, 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 no. If they have a shield, I don't think it goes off because it has to deal the damage. And since you use the shield to block the, the initial damage. No, I still think it the... goes through because uh, there's another card that basically does the same thing. Like if you actually, if it goes off and hits a shield, it still procs across the board. Um, so I'm positive. Well, I, th I, think I, I think I know what you're, you're talking about. You're talking about the, um, it, it has Ami on the on the art, right? It's a three I, cost. Yeah, I think so. So I'm, I'm positive that if the unless the unit dies unless they remove that unit completely then it won't work at all but if they've got shields this will proc shields and it will deal four so across it, it the board says, it says deal eight damage to a random enemy unit or to a single enemy to one you can target it now it's no longer random oh that does make it better yes this is a buff to rocket launcher so they reduce the damage by two but they take away the rng mm-hmm and if it deals the 8 damage, it hits another unit. It hits both units. If it's a middle card, then obviously it's going to hit both units on the side for 4. Assuming they have a full board and you go straight for the middle one. Wait, it says adjacent units? Adjacent units. Four? Yes. Adjacent oh, units. Oh, you're yeah. right. Oh. Yep. So, I'm assuming those adjacent units would also take that 4 pierce damage as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, wait. It gets better. It gets better. Let's move on to the actual Jill Hero art, okay? He thought that was cool for a nice up up upgrade. Uh, ultimate Weapon. AP cost of 17. Uh, explore for Rocket Launcher. AP cost 16. Explore for Rocket Launcher. Give that card negative 1 MP. Damn. Yeah. So Rocket Launcher is a 2 MP card now? It's what? always going to be a 2 now. It's 3, but... Rocket Launcher will explore for it and make it a negative one. If there is a way to re-explore for cards, you know, like that purple card that re-explores for cards you've explored for, it'll always come back. I'm assuming that Rocket Launcher will always come back as a three, but if the hero art of Jill explores for it, it will always be a two. I mean, two MP makes it much better. Yeah, this is going to see, really like, see, the yo, thing is though, like, uh, the thing is, I don't think we should get excited because, like, you know, like Teppin is always. It it can it can, it can differ. <laughs> yeah. Like, we have to do some testing. Like we have to make sure, like, if you use a shield and you block the damage, like, that the adjacent damage still goes through. Yeah, that needs because to be sometimes, tested. Sometimes you know, like. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes the wording is iffy, right? Mm-hmm. As we just figured out with the slower follow the wording was very iffy, <laughs> but clearly the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the translation but, is something but, that's going to be but, weird. 
Yeah, yeah, but if the damage does go through um, adjacent, through shields, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I I'm liking the buff to rocket launcher and the uh, ultimate weapon. Doesn't. Like, even if it doesn't, 2 MP for 8 damage, that's really good. Yeah, that's very strong for rocket launcher. That That's going to promote more ultimate weapon uh, gel decks. So we'll yeah, have yeah. to see. We'll definitely see ultimate weapon a lot more. Even even if um, it doesn't like um, do damage to the adjacent units, if they do use the shield, the mm. fact that it's only two MP, yeah, makes it not as, yeah makes it not as bad because then you can always use the hero. You could always use it on free mana. Exactly. Uh, which is really nice. So uh, yeah, uh, I, I always thought um, rocket launcher was very un weird in the hand because it was a three cost, but now now that it's a two cost. <laughs> yeah, and then you also got, you also got to keep in mind that I mean, like lip slash, it does nine damage, but I mean the fact that it could lose to a shield, it doesn't deter the fact that it's a really good card, right? Yeah, because it's a two cost. It's very cheap. Yeah. So the fact that it is that it is a two MP for damage. Even if it doesn't um, do damage to the adjacent units, if it does get blocked by a shield, it's still really good. Yeah, no, definitely. All right, so uh, yeah, Jill got a pretty nice buff um, for one of her hero arts, which is good. All right, uh, now. I mean, even even if it did get buffed, like, antibody is still really good, right? Like Antibody is still very good, but this also just puts Ultra Weapon on the list now. It's like, all right, you know, Ultra Weapon's actually pretty good now. Yeah, this gives her like two viable hero arts in my opinion, instead yeah. of just one. Instead of just the one, she's got two, and I'm I'm okay with that. So that's a good buff. All right, Chun Li, Kikosho. Before it was an AP cost of seventeen to give shield to all friendly units. All right, now it's an AP cost of fourteen to give shield to all friendly units. So they reduced the MP by three. Yeah, the AP is dropped. I mean, I I really I really I mean, is that the only thing that did this? Yeah, pretty much. I was hoping something else was going to happen, but I assume because of these new ways to shield the board, they want you to hit the hero art quicker. I mean, I think it was a good change though, because uh, Kikosho at seventeen, I, I don't really, I, I don't really understand why it was so expensive to begin with. Mm, yeah, I never figured that out either. But um, you know, now it's fourteen. And you give shield to all friendly units, you know, you can trigger that quicker. And yeah, at, at 14, I, I definitely see it seeing more play. For yeah, sure. especially with that four cost action that basically gives shield to all friendly units and buffs them if they all have shield prior. So uh, I definitely like this change to Kikosho. So uh, nice buff to Chun Li. Uh, at least. I, I mean. I think it helps that deck that you were trying to. Trying yeah, to work yeah, no, on, right? I, I think it does actually help that deck. I was trying to figure out, out trying to work. So um, I'll have to revisit it after the patch, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, uh, kudos, nice change there. And uh, lastly, to finish things off, great divine intervention. Uh, before, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, wait for it. Before AP twenty one, all friendly units gain two HP. You dealt three to all enemy units. Any unit destroyed by this damage is removed from the game. Now it's an AP cost of 23. All friendly units gain 2 HP. Deal 3 damage to all enemy units. Any unit destroyed by this damage is removed from the game. Death effects do not apply. Wait, 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 wait. All units gain 2 plus HP? All friendly units gain 2 HP. Okay, so that stays the same. That yeah, stays the same. Literally, the only change was the AP cost. So they just made it more expensive by 2, 2 MP. By 2 MP. I mean, 2 HP. Yeah, 2 AP. Yeah, by 2 um, AP. I mean... It's a That's little fine. bit. It's a little bit slower, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think that makes a difference, to be honest. I, I don't think so either. I, I was expecting like, all right, they're gonna do something good to this, change it, nerf it, something. But a two AP I increase. Mean, I don't think GDI needs a nerf at this point. Probably. To be honest. Well, the way that things are going with the meta, maybe not. I mean, honestly, like, how many GDIs do you run into, right? Mm, yeah, no, not really that often. Well, it's just because of the way the meta is, I guess. I mean, it's still a good hero art, but the fact that it's like 2 MP more, like, you know, 2 MP more, I mean, 2 AP, um, yeah. doesn't really do much. Like, I mean, you can still use this hero art, in I my mean, opinion. Is it, is it slower? Uh, that's what I'm curious. I mean, just a tad bit, but like, not by much. 
Mm, that's what I thought. I was like, I looked at it and I thought, okay, I'm trying to think, okay, if maybe it's a bit slower to hit the, uh, the hit UDI, but honestly, probably no. <laughs> I don't think it's slow. I, I mean, don't... it's it, it's, a, it's a tad bit slower, but like, you, you won't really notice. I don't think you will notice the, the fact that it's just 23 now. Um, I mean, there are certain situations where you'll probably be like one MP off from the GDI, but like at the same time, like most of the time, like it's not really gonna be an issue. No, I don't think it will be actually. Um, but yeah, that, that's just that's the change. Um, we will continue taking account the effects of the additional cards, decks, and their win percentages and game experience when moving forward with the balance changes. We hope that this <laughs> balance adjustment and continuous balance adjustments. We'll make the concept of Tappan more enjoyable. We hope you enjoy, continue to enjoy playing Tappan. Um, you see, um, they're kind of late with the with the GDI nerf, right? That's a little late, yeah. Like, the meta's already shifted into this uh, area, and it's like, yeah, GDI doesn't really matter now. Yeah, it's like an action-oriented meta, and mm -hmm. um, GDI doesn't really fit in right now, so the fact that they nerfed it, I mean, it doesn't do anything. No, but um, Kikosho and the Ultimate Weapon actually kind of do fit into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Kikosho and uh, and Rocket Launcher are definitely really, really good changes to the game. I mean, yeah. we'll have to see. We'll have to see um, how those changes um, affect the game. But honestly, I think uh, those were solid. Yeah, apart uh, from GDI, apart from GDI, <laughs> apart from GDI's lack of, but I guess it does something. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll go with the flow I and mean, assume that it's gonna do something at least for the deck, the hero. Artist I mean, up. like I said, like I don't think GDI needed a nerf anymore. To be honest, I think the meta, like how you said, like it's moved on from that. It technically has. There are still those GDI decks that are out there, but like, like I said, like you said, there really isn't that much. Unless the meta changes and GDI becomes prevalent. Um, but it is a very action-heavy situation right now, so... Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's a tad bit slower, but it doesn't really do much. Um, I'm really interested in uh, using Rocket Launcher. Yeah, I am too, actually. Like, I mean... Heck, <laughs> as much as I have my grievances, look, I I'm willing to, like, you know what, I'm going a, I'm to a play the rocket launcher just because, you know, it's going to be a two-cost card in my hand. It's going to deal eight pierce damage to a unit. If it hits that unit, it'll deal four to an adjacent unit. If it's middle... I mean, the thing, the thing I hated about rocket launcher, that was it was random. Yeah, that was the big issue. It was bloody random, and no one liked it for that. But, yeah, so the fact that they got rid of the RNG factor and the hero art makes it a lot better in my opinion that makes it i think it makes it a lot stronger because that's i mean that's guaranteeing okay i'm gonna hit this target i'll get that eight damage if they've got adjacent units i'm gonna hit them for an additional four i'm just curious if that four damage is also pierce or is it just the initial eight damage only i mean either way it's still good like the f i mean just the fact that they got rid of the rng right yeah that that, that pretty much just like fixes that issue of rocket launcher itself um just <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, before, like, you would waste 3 MP. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, 3 MP to hit a random unit. Yeah. So you're spinning, yeah, you're spinning, you're spinning the wheel to hit the unit that you want. I mean, at the end of the day, that's not, that's not reliable. No, it, it sucks RNG. But to make it actually, I'm going to hit this unit now, and then I could hit this unit is even better. And on top of that, it's 2 MP, so. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, even better. Yeah, I I think Rocket Launcher got the best the best change in this yeah. uh, little balance up there, in my opinion. Ultimate Weapon Jill. Jill getting some love. Love it. She's uh, this is nice. Uh, this will go into the action heavy shit, so it works. But um, yeah, guys. That's... I mean, <laughs> Kikosho could be a little scary though. Like, I, I mean, that it's fourteen AP now. It's fourteen, cause... which means it has a really good chance against Denjin. I, I think. If you really want to look at it this way, because of Denjin, I think Kikosho can put that in its place. Because you would be, you could get those shields quicker than they could blow up your field. I mean, would you run Denjin? I mean, would you run Kikosho over Yon? 
I mean, that's obviously you probably want to go yawn in that situation. I'm, I'm just saying, as another contender now, like this is something that you know will slow down Dungeon. Yeah, I mean, if your deck is about like uh, building board and uh, buffing the unit, like um, playing units that buff other units that are in play while that mm -hmm. unit is alive, like the friendly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This change definitely benefits those type of decks. Even mm. the machine deck. I yeah, I, I honestly want to take this into the machine because I adjusted and was running the machines and I was running Kokosho. And honestly, now that it's 14, I think I might be... I think it might even work even better now. Yeah, I, I think I think the, I think the decks that rely on building board are really going to benefit from this hero art. Just the fact that it's just a lot cheaper now. It's just easier to hit. I uh, Yeah, I, I felt like, yeah... Kikosho and Ultimate Weapon uh, got the best out of this update, so which is good because then that makes them a little more prevalent in the meta for next month. Um, so yeah, uh, expect to maybe see uh, quite a few decks with Jill now, Rocket Launcher and uh, Shield Jill, uh, Shield Chun Li. So yeah, I expect that at least. Yeah, people are definitely gonna experiment. I mean, I know I will. So yeah, <laughs> but other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the update for uh, the twenty second or twenty first, really. I don't know. Twenty <laughs> first of the third. Uh, so this was a nice. I think this is prop. This is this balance update was better than last ones. I will say that. I at mean, least. this gives me hope that uh, they're gonna they're gonna go back to previous hero arts and they're. They're gonna adjust them. Yes, this this gives hope. Like, please go and fix Dante. <laughs> just <laughs> please, <laughs> just fix him. <laughs> he has like one okay hero art, and the other two are trash. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't care if you have to redo the whole hero art, completely change it. I don't care. Just make it better. Make it viable. I mean, X needs some help too. <laughs> yeah, X will definitely only, help. The yeah, only viable hero art right now is Heart Tank. Please give the robot some love as well. The, these, two, these two heroes specifically need it. I think the others are managing fine. Um, just fix them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would say. Yeah, I would, I would say Dante and X, they need some love. <laughs> yeah, definitely that's true. But um, yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you, Expert Hunter. We gave our thoughts on this. This was a nice little short uh, balance update, but I think it's a lot better than the last one, and I 100% stand by that. A lot better than the last one. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as always, guys, leave your likes and comments below. Tell us what you guys think. Uh, who's going to be playing Ultimate Weapon? Who's going to be playing Kikosho? I know I'll be playing these decks. I'm going to try them out and see how they go. Um, and yeah, hope hope for the future. <laughs> hope for the future. Not the card, but the future of other balances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I <don't> know. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, all good. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, take care. We'll see you in the next video as always. And uh, bye-bye. See you guys.